What is up, everyone? This is your boy here, the Yankee Hardcore Pipe. I'm Messiah here with you, your personification of excellence when it comes to baseball talk here, here on YouTube. So it is um, happy Thursday here from Rhode Island. The weather sucks. Yes, you do see me. I look a little bit different. I messed up uh, trimming my beard this morning, so I did shave it off. Um, it's going to grow back in a week. I still have a goatee, but um, anyways, let's talk about... Um, Blake Snell here, folks. Um, it hasn't been easy breezy for uh, Blake Snell since last season. We all know what happened last season. You know, he wanted to get that long-term blockbuster contract that he always wanted. Didn't get it because Scott Boris is a fucking idiot. Uh, his first three starts of the season did not look good. And then he lands on the injury list last month. So he is working his way back now. And he's already front and center when it comes to the rumor mill in baseball. So would the San Francisco Giants trade Blake Snell? Now, if the San Francisco Giants don't climb out of the dumpster that they're in, and when you look at the San Francisco Giants, they spent a good chunk of money over the winter. And they were expected to be this team that was going to come in, be stronger, and give the Dodgers a run for their money. Despite the fact that the Dodgers spent over a billion dollars. So you add Blake Snell and Logan Webb. Now, Logan Webb has always been with the Giants. I get that. And that is one of the best rotation duos in baseball. They, they were supposed to form that. But Webb, you know, he's performed well to this point. Snell, on the other hand, an 11.57 ERA. Like I said, he's been on the injured list because he had an abductor strain. The Giants are 15-25. and 25, 10 games out of first place. And they're in fourth place. So can they still catch up? To uh, the Dodgers, you know, it's certainly possible, but I really doubt it. But I never really expected the Giants to uh, really give the Dodgers a run for their money. But, but, I didn't think they would struggle this bad so early into the season. And I guess it's no surprise that the trade rumors are already being talked about. Which I will put the link in this uh description in this video so Blake's now he should be back soon but when he does come back if he pitches well I think what's going to happen is there's going to be a fire sale in San Francisco if this continues to be bad for the Giants so yeah, I mean, we usually get into trade deadline talks in June, July, but it's never too early to talk about it, right? Well, those Blake Snell trade rumors, uh, those are really the first uh, starting points here. And um, hope you aren't still tired of them after what we saw in the hostile season. So now... How does this pertain to the New York Yankees? Well, the Yankees, they're always tied to everyone. The Yankees made an offer to Blake Snell. Remember that? But what happened? Blake Snell didn't accept the offer. And when you look at the Yankees, the Yankees are going to be in the playoffs this year. With the way that they've been playing right now, and they did take two out of three to a tough Minnesota team. Or I should say... Um, they did take the series. Um, don't know if they'll win today, but what, let's see what happens. If they do sweep, that would be great. They, they expect it to uh, be in the playoffs this year. I still don't think this is a World Series caliber team yet. But if they're going to be a World Series caliber team, they're going to have to go all in. And they're going to have to try to get Blake Snell. Now, Blake Stell's got a $38.5 million player option for next season. And 
one of the cons of getting Blake Snell to possibly go to another team is the fact that they're going to have to try to find a trade partner. And But here's the thing, too. It's not completely impossible. And I'm going to give you an example of that. Max Scherzer. Max Scherzer was with the Mets. What did the Mets do last year? They had a fire sale of their own. So Max Scherzer got traded to the Texas Rangers. And Max Scherzer decided to pick up his $43.3 million player option. But I really doubt that Blake Snell is going to do that. And I can't say I would really want him to. But the Yankees, they're off to this great start. Like I said, they just beat Minnesota in a series. Uh, do they go for the sweep today? It's possible. And I hope they continue to play uh, the way that they've been playing. You know, they got an easy series this weekend against the Chicago White Sox. So... When you have a contending Yankees team, by the way, half game up in the American League East, you know that they're going to be buyers. And they're going to look for the right chips to make them even stronger going into those dog days of the season. So you need another top starter to help a Garrett Cole. I mean, that would be awesome. And... They should continue to look for that piece and ready to make a move. I don't think it's going to be Blake Snell. I think Blake Snell is going to burn the New York Yankees again. But I will say this, though. Let these uh, trade rumors uh, be talked about. And it really, Bleacher Report, too, is the, um, another um, outlet that talked about that, too. Because, you know, they were talking about other teams... Uh, possibly getting into uh, the mix. Uh, you know, Houston. Um, is Houston going to do a fire sale? I doubt it. They, they're just too stubborn. Um, I could see a team like Toronto. Um, even though I think they're too stubborn. But the thing is, they got a lot of players that are going to be free agents next year. Like Vlad Guerrero. <coughs> Bo Bichette. John Romero, those guys. So um, we'll see what happens. But let me all know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm out, guys. Peace.